uh, I think in future the camp not gonna exist, but they're gonna destroy all. They are. They will come here again and again and again and. I work with the American Army as an interpreter, and also I work with the uh, uh, Italian Carabinieri in Afghanistan. And right now, in, I'm in a very bad situation in the colors. I think people need to actually sit down and think about it as if, what if it was your wife, your sister, your daughter, your son? I think if people actually succeeded in doing that, then more people might be inclined to help. سلام منم به حمایت از دوستانم لقوم دوختم و میخوام که کل دنیا صدامون رو بشنون it's an ongoing refugee crisis, and uh, a lot of people can't come or they don't think they will be able to help. But you just sometimes you just need to show up someplace and have a presence to show people you're in solidarity with them. The long-term volunteers have been particularly stretched, and it's been a really crucial time for us to reach out and be able to say to you, we need your help, and you really responded. We were concerned at first. We had almost no stock in, um, we have the new camp in Dunkirk opening, so an increased need there as well as people being evicted in Calais. Um, we've got piles of things now, which is great, but I also know that's going to last a week, two weeks, and it will be gone. We have such a high turnover of things here. Um, obviously, a lot of hope went into the court case that we, we had and the appeal, and we lost those, which was very sad and frustrating. But. My, that faith hasn't disappeared because it, it remains in the people that I'm working with and that you, the public, saying we see this as a situation that needs support and we're going to do something and step in.